Number five, what is the evidence that all neutral atoms and molecules exert attractive forces on each other? Okay, so I pulled up this uh, little drawing here, and this depicts the three states of matter. We have a crystalline solid. Crystalline just means that you're making a crystal, but it's a solid nonetheless. So here I have an S. If you see an S on the periodic table, uh, not a periodic table, balanced equation, that's solid form. Liquids are L's, and that's a funky looking L. Oh my gosh. There we go. And gas for G. So now, what is the evidence that all neutral atoms exert attractive forces. So if we're dealing with this question, we're talking about forces. So we're not concerned about increasing Ke. Ke stands for kinetic energy. Now we just want to know about those forces and that's the bottom of this picture. Now it says Increasing IMF. Well, what is IMF? An IMF is a intermolecular force. So I, M for molecular, and F for force. That's what we're talking about here. That's the attractive force. And attractive means to pull closer, right? If you're attracted to somebody, you want to be closer to them, right? You want to get to know them. You're attracted to them. So attractive forces are talking about two atoms that are close to each other. And same thing goes for in life, right? I mean, I, I guess if you're very, very close to someone, right? you're attractive to them. So you get to know them, you're very, very close, you know them, you're attractive. Same thing goes for chemistry. If two atoms get very, very, very close to each other, they are super attractive towards each other. Now, in this case, as we're going from a gas to a liquid to a solid, look at those atoms and how close they are. Gases... Those atoms are way spread out. They're not as attractive. But as we're getting to a liquid, those atoms are getting closer to each other. So they're gaining attraction. But if you look at these solids here, I mean, they're super tight. Nothing is going to get in the way of their attractiveness. So solids have the highest intermolecular force. So I could just say highest IMF. They are super attractive. So how that, you know, what's the evidence that all these neutral atoms exert attractive forces on each other? It's the idea that you can go from a gas to a solid, right? It's basically the idea of saying, if I can turn a gas into a liquid, into a solid, and those atoms are getting closer and closer and closer and closer to each other, that's got to be an attractive force. That's intermolecular forces. And how do we go from a gas to a liquid to a solid? Well, you could think of in terms of water, right? If I have H2O, that's a solid, and then I have H2O, that's a liquid, and then I have H2O as a gas. H2O as a gas is, another word for it is steam, right? H2O as a liquid is the water that we know and love, even though I should drink more water, <laughs> but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. And then H2O as a solid is ice, right? Now, how do I go from steam all the way to ice? What must happen to my conditions? How can I manipulate, especially how can I manipulate to get from water down to ice? Yeah, you got it, right? I have to drop the temperature, right? And that's for all molecules, whether you're a compound or, you know, just a single element, is that when you drop your temperatures, you're taking your gases 
to a liquid, to a solid. And um, basically, those atoms are going to get more attractive and closer together and closer together and closer together and turn into a stacked type of formation, and that has the highest attractive forces. So what's the evidence? Is that if you decrease that temp temperature, if you lower that temperature, the atoms will get closer together. And because of that, you will have attractive forces. And the more closer you are, the more attractive you got. And that is the answer, basically, to this question. So let's see if I do this. Beautiful. And this. Beautiful. There you go. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And just keep learning. We are going to be here for you guys throughout your, you know, learning experience in school. Right now we have physics and math videos also on the channel, so go check them out as well. All right, maybe we'll be able to help you there as well. I hope you're having a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.